All right. Beep. And with bro hand. Are you, are you <laughs> I'm back. What's up, Airsofters? Welcome back to the Not So Round Table. George has returned as well as a special guest, Jet. I ran out of money, so I had to come back. <laughs> He's like, you came to the wrong show. Are a little, little came wrong I came, I came to the show that's going to make me wealth of internet bucks, and that mm. is the NSRT. Mm -hmm. We're excited to have you back. Thank you for joining us for another week here. Uh, as you guys know, the show works by you guys submitting comments and questions in the previous videos. Those get collected here into the Helm of Reasoning, which is hidden by a mountain of true spec gear that we're going to give away on Friday. Tune into our Facebook for that. Talk about that in a little bit. Let's start the uh, episode off with a discussion topic. I think you guys uh, already oh, yeah. have one ready oh, to yeah. go. Yes, we're, we we got this. Let's do it. So, okay. preface it. Uh... Earlier this week, I posted. I, I came across this new Airsoft brand's ranking 2017, which is totally, completely, 100 percent accurate. Right? <laughs> yes, with yes. all the with or 100 percent or, or, or is it <laughs> with 100 percent your... brands represented? <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, and obviously, whoever made this is either trolling really hard, or they have no idea what they are talking about. I'm no. gonna say it's a mixture of both. Cause and we, we don't got, know who made it. So we people got, said we made it, but we didn't make it. Yeah, so that's the conspiracy know. theory. So yes. for all you tinfoil hat wearing dudes out there, Evic. I remember I, I told somebody on Instagram. To I'm like, he's like, Evic mm. made this. I'm like, no, no, we didn't make this. <laughs> Are you sure? Or did you guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> so this, so this, this ranking is obviously completely false. There's brands that aren't even mentioned on here, and then there's brands that don't even really fit. Like I would say, I would say, I, let me, let me pre, you know. Do you feel that Umarex is an airsoft brand in a sense that, that the Umarex guns that are ironically are made are VFC and Aries mostly, and those are in the top triangle, but Umarex is down lower? That that doesn't make any sense, really. Unless you're comparing, like, yeah. the Walmart guns you buy that are little Springer pistols. Yeah. Umarex just has this giant line of, <laughs> you know, they go, they go from the big box stores all the way to, like, you know, the high-end, a high-end 416. It's too vague. So, like, where... Where does that where does that go? The one that I'm very weirded out about is CAA, a company that's primarily known for their insane amount of putting rails on furniture in weird places. Mm -hmm. uh, and I actually know why that is. Uh, the reason that CAA does that is because they have a contract with the IDF, and anything the IDF says to make, they just make it. Yes. So right. the IDF could literally be like, I want a vertical grip with a rail under it, and CAA would be like, you got it, here's okay. two <laughs> rails yeah. under your vertical grip for whatever reason. Yeah. Coming soon. And then uh, what brands are missing? I was surprised of the following brands not being mentioned. ASG, which is a pretty big That's brand. That's a big brand. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. LCT, not as big of a brand, but very popular. ENL, mm -hmm. pretty big brand. Definitely. That what's not. All you AK GHK is in, in here, and none of the HPA KSC, companies. KSC, KJW. KJW definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, KJW has a lot of stuff. Uh, technically, there's there's a few other brands just aren't represented at all. Like Lancer's not on there. Uh, well, I mean, I, they may have been, but there, see, there's a section of the pyramid not shown. <laughs> so because they can only fit so much of the pyramid, they can only fit so much in in the image in the graphics. They I had think to cut the, off the. There's like a bottom. There's a bottom. Well, okay, section, so here's a question. <laughs> this this actually brings up a question. Zoom this is legit. This is legit. Okay, because Lonex isn't in there either, but this is a legit question. Would you consider that rebranders or like companies that are we licensing talking about manufacturers companies. or are we talking about licensing companies? Palco's not on there. Um, you know, like so I, if you want to just go with manufacturers, Umarex technically wouldn't even be on there. Neither would EMG. Stuff. Neither would EMG technic well yeah. Dietac no. is on did, Dietac would do be they on. make guns? I guess I Ryan, just, Ryan's shaking their head. Okay. I just know that Ditac mask thing. I mean, if we're right. going solely off no, no, of factories, like, oh, that's Echo One wouldn't I'm be sorry. on there. There's a bunch of brands that wouldn't be on here if it was covering that range of the spectrum, but it's not. It's just so vague. Yeah. I don't even think, like, having a pyramid shape is unfair, too, because a lot of, like, like you said earlier, like, a lot of these brands just fall into the other brands. You know, like, Umre like take Umrex, you know, that's Elite Force as well. And they have like the Tavor, which was, I think it was S and T, right? And then they made one by S and T, and they one mm -hmm. made one by Aries. Yeah. yeah. So not to mention King Arms, which is also CAA, and King makes Arms a bunch a... of stuff for a bunch of different companies. So yeah, yeah. It, I think it's just well, even like okay, like SRC. Unless we're just talking about their own as their own brand, right? 
not counting the mm-hmm. products that are sold under others. And this is all messed up. This is all wrong. messed up. This is all wrong. But they already the did case. that because they included Umarex and then they didn't include ASG or Palco, which I, are yeah. other yeah. brands. Who made did. this? Comment down below. If you yeah, made we want to find out who made this. Let's start the witch hunt. Mm-hmm. Let's move on with the questions. Jet, you want to start us off? Sure. Oh, man, I, was, I wanted to go a little bit more. We're not going to we're not gonna we're find that we, guy. We, we book it at the end. Sorry. That's not the pronoun that you wanted. First question. Hungarian Lion. Hey, insert. What would you say is the best budget weapon for Milsim events? Ah! <laughs> well, <laughs> consulting our draft. draft. Uh, well, oh, okay, so you want EMG. something high end. Wait, best, best bu- budget oh, bu- weapon? Budget oriented. I, I mean, depends. If you want an AK, SEMA, which is on the triangle. <laughs> which, we, which we all agree <laughs> to SEMA Wait, AKs on, yeah, we're gonna... should be ranked higher. Yeah. If you're going off of AK, SEMA should definitely be ranked higher. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so. Best budget, yeah. I mean, well, it depends. Like, well, you say fa- Milsim. Couple, are you doing Russian factors, Milsim? What faction? If you're yeah. going to be any kind of Russian faction, SEMA AK. You yeah. cannot go wrong and, with SEMA AK. And for a, a, a base M4 platform, you know, G&G has made a yeah, name G&G. for itself, you know, and, and an entire line for itself. You know, almost entirely off of the M4 platform, as well as GMP. Which is sub, which is sub but, 300. GMP, some of the rifles are sub 300. Right. Uh, what else would we have for that that I'd put in that? That'd be really good choices. I mean, some of the newer APS M4s are actually pretty decent. If you're doing an IDF kit, uh, you can get one of the CAA, CAA guns, guns. And you can put that vertical grip underneath your... You've got your, rails your, for your days. rails for everything. For days. <laughs> you can put a flashlight for on your days, stock. Which is as long as your event is. <clears throat> All right, uh, George, next question. Yeah, that was a very... Mm, that was a good segue from yeah. our discussion topic. Okay, that's a long one. Good, good choice. Jacob B. Manny Prayer Ruler. Emoji. Okay, that's a great name. <laughs> uh, hello, insert. For a beginner airsofter, do you think it would be better to run an MCR5 chest rig and bib integration kit or a plate carrier for a chest-mounted pistol holster? Huh, okay, I'm, I'm still reading. In the same vein, what are the difference benefits of hard shell versus soft tel- shell pistol holsters? Thank you for answering my question. I look forward to... I'm going to blame Chris for this. we got a lot of questions. It's all Chris's That's cool. Fault. Gives us a lot to talk <clears throat> about. Okay, so... What first is, question. First it, part of the question. The MCR5, which yeah. is Condor. Yep. Yeah. And is that the one with the mole, or is it the one with the pouches automatically on it? Pouches on it? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So, that... Chest mounted pistol holsters never work out. Nope. Like, not only, no matter what direction you're standing, are you flagging people, both holstered and drawing, uh, but it's also when you're wearing like a sling and you drop your sling, it's incredibly difficult to draw your pistol from holstered. When the sling's in your way, you got your rifle stuck up in here. It's just. Well, I'm going to go on a little, little tangent here. The reason that those holsters were designed was for the idea is is for police officers in vehicles because you can draw out like that right and they have no application in any other form except for in okay. the vehicle got it <clears throat> i did not know that neither did i till someone told me mm. how often are police officers driving around they're just like ah <laughs> <laughs> well no it was more well, like if you're on days. it was more for like if you're on but like let's say you're doing like a security patrol or something like right. that you want to have your gun in the fight quickly if you're like driving like right. if you think about it if you're driving that's actually pretty out of the way unless i don't know yeah, unless, yeah. The, airbag, no, unless the airbag it makes sense off. it makes sense yeah um a lot of this stuff is when I, once once i hear for beginner airsofter i just think okay you don't need a lot of the questions that people ask for beginners like this one are kind of a little over the top like let's like the ch- like chest rig i mean chest rig versus plate carrier if you've never worn one you you really wouldn't know what is best for you because that's really what you want is you want something that's best for you so maybe try the chest rig out because it's going to be a little bit cheaper maybe that's not your thing then you can bump up to a plate carrier and find out oh this plate carrier is too cumbersome or it's or maybe it's your jam and then you'll just switch to the plate carrier and as a cost addition generally plate carriers will end up costing you more money Mm -hmm. uh, because Mm -hmm. you need to get plates for it they do have more real estate which inevitably you will try to fill more pouches Mm -hmm. yep this also pertains to the question about the hard shell, or I mean, I guess that he means Kydex, yeah. versus a regular just nylon holster. I would say just start with a nylon holster. That's how I started. You know, it's better too because 
as you get as you progress in airsoft, your pistol will change, and that nylon one you'll be able to fit way more guns into that than a Kydex one. That's true. Even if you're wearing, even if you're using the same pistol, something I'm dealing with now is not. It took us years to get a uh, a hard shell holster, whether it be injection molded plastic or Kydex, uh, that would fit a, an STI frame or high kappa. Yep. Right? It yep. Took us years. And now that we have one, I find myself wanting to attach a flashlight to my high kappa, <laughs> and nobody makes an injection molded or kydex holster for the high kappa with a flashlight because it's not a tactical firearm. Or not, yeah, it's not a it's a competition gun. Someone told me that Safari Land Glock 17 with insight slash other light melts does work, so I need to try that sometime. Okay. Mm. Well, okay, we'll get try on it. it. Yeah. I don't have. A also, if you're a tactical company that makes kydex, uh... well, no, because. Uh, <laughs> What's his name from Falcon Battle Systems offered to mold it for me? And I'm so afraid to put my gun in the mail. Oh, like I just don't want to send it in the mail. All right, so. so that guy needs to come here. <laughs> yeah. Bring your gear. Here. Bring his Skydeck press. Bring his. Uh, yeah. So consensus, I think we've all are suggesting the soft holster to start with. Yeah, start with, start with the shell, budget stuff. Start with the budget stuff. Holsters can also mar your slide. If you yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. If, I mean, unless you don't care. Some people are, you know, super like, don't scratch my gun. Mm -hmm. All right. Ryan Luke asks, hey, insert, you guys think that sniping is useless in CQB? Because I see so many snipers on the field, usually about five at Game Pod Combat Zone, and even less at the monthly games at Fort Ord. For Fort Ord. I don't think sniping in CQB is useless. It's just, it's more cumbersome, definitely. Uh, for game pod specifically, though, that's basically an outdoor field mm -hmm. in a warehouse. Yeah. So I don't really, I, don't, I almost don't even consider that a CQB, CQB field. Not until you get into the, I would say not until you get into the individual houses and buildings. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and even then, it's more of a mount setting than it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But mount is technically CQB, but. Okay. True, true. Technically, technically. Mm -hmm. but I mean, but for, I don't think it's useless. I mean, yeah, no, everything's I, got a purpose. I had a Tokyo Marui. What was it? The, the, not the L ninety. It's the op. Basically, the Tokyo Marui op, <laughs> and I used that at my CQB field uh, back when I had it at show. <laughs> and that's really? that was small. Yeah, it was fun though. Huh. It was fun. I mean, there was a lot of like fire bolt. Oh no, he's too close. Go to the handgun. Okay, he backed up. Ah, shoot the bolt. It was like playing Counter-Strike for real, but like having to switch <laughs> constantly and that's really tiring. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a good that was a good field. I missed mm -hmm. that field. You what do you think about sniping in CQB? I Matt, mean, just, Matt just wants to just I know that's around. not Matt's just not. Matt's a speed softer. I have a sniper rifle. Okay. 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 I have a VSR-10. Uh -huh. When was the last Gas time you used it? When was the last time you used it? Years ago. Because you know, it was a like rifle five can do years everything ago. that a sniper rifle can do. Like yes. in airsoft, your distances aren't any you greater your for a sniper bottle? rifle. So, like, why? I just, I mean, it's almost a handicap too, right? Because because yeah. you because your range is the exact same as a guy with a bang. 455 barrel on his M4 or bang. AK, and you don't have as fast of successive shots. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. VSR tens have incredible hop ups. They're incredibly accurate, um, but I don't I don't know why someone would choose one over a rifle, especially in CQB. Because if you are playing true CQB and you have tight quarters, I don't know. At the same time, <laughs> I've seen guys run VSR tens like sawed off with like a shorty barrel. Like I've seen it done. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I think uh, doesn't Marui make one that's specifically like a well, sawed off the, one? They make the G spec, but it's only a little bit shorter and it comes with a suppressor. Mm. But there was a, there was oh, a guy yeah, at yeah. high ground, remember, that was running like an HPA tapped VSR-10 that was like sawed off right after the... I did not see that thing. guy. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. hmm. Or at least I think it was... I did not see that dude. Maybe it was GamePod. Uh, I don't know. It was like a camo painted VSR-10. I don't know. It was camo. That's why I didn't see it. Well, uh, you better put that name <laughs> in there. Hung bum, Fu. Bum, bum. <laughs> H O O N G foo, high insert and possibly guest. What are your favorite patches? I mean, I preferred one point six, uh, but one point five was also good. 
I don't know. I thought that Windows uh, yeah, that yeah. Windows uh, the first uh, XP when when mm-hmm. Windows XP existed that first patch that came out that, SP like, one yeah SP one <laughs> yeah. that was really good SP one was the most <laughs> was the most reliable of the XP patches yeah yeah I liked I liked the latest uh, the one that you said one point five to one point six that, yeah, was that was good yeah that was a good patch was, there's a lot of good balancing going on in that yeah, one I think so mm-hmm. I think, yeah I think the new uh, some of the new uh, Counter Strike patches have done pretty good yeah the Squad new just recently had yeah, a good squad, patch Squad has a good patch. Um, mm-hmm. How yeah. mad are people now? No. <clears throat> favorite patches. You guys got a favorite patch? Not really. I mean, Not your own? I could be like my <laughs> own patch. Woo, yeah, plug it. You plug could, your store. That you could get exclusively at DesertFoxActual.com. What's your favorite patch, Matt? Uh, I, don't have, I don't have one favorite patch, but I think I appreciate the patches that I receive from people far more than patches that I've purchased myself. Absolutely. Um, so every once in a while, you know, somebody will want to trade us or somebody will send one in here at EVIC. Uh, and the, I, to me, those are far more special uh, than, like, the store-bought ones or even the ones that we carry. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I like getting team patches. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, even when you're at, like, SHOT Show, getting some of the patches that people bring, you know, like, friends of yours, it's kind of, that's... Absolutely. That's, getting the getting the swag that not everybody gets and you have it for that is kind of at least better than, I mean, I you know me and patches for years, but... I'd say those are probably my favorite. <clears throat> okay. Next question. Wow, oh, Chris, way to, way to print out a lot of questions. <clears throat> oh, I guess we're not going to take a break on this one. <laughs> we will go to a commercial break on this one. We already pl- We already did our, our break. It was at the beginning. Okay, the Sage, as dear insert and possible guess, uh, if you could choose any fictional creature slash animal, not character, to fight alongside you in Airsoft, who would you choose? A unicorn. But I'm wearing the shirt, right? You can't do this to well, me. I took it already. I would, I would play alongside the unicorn <sighs> against Jet. Rack. Okay, so a real animal? No, it says fictional creature slash animal, not a character. Oh man! So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose man bear pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh man. Um, what about a what about a land? A narwhal? Pegasus. A Pegasus. Because it's a it's it's a horse that can fly. Yeah. Yeah. So now so, he's so now <laughs> I can ride it on the ground and go really fast like cavalry, and then I could get airborne because it's got wings. His answer is way cooler than your answer. That's cool. <laughs> and mine's a half man, half bear, half pig. Okay, so how does that help you on how does that help you on the battlefield? Oh, it doesn't. It's just more entertainment value. Maybe Al Gore will show up. I mean, I, okay. Why not bring like a chimera on the field? What is the chi- what is a chimera? I don't know what that is. Uh, chimera was like a Greek mythological creature that had the head of a lion and the tail of a snake. Oh. And the, the and the wings of an eagle. All right, so we're just gonna start popping okay. out like Lord yeah. of the Rings so, like, characters. So, so, Harry no, was, I mean, if we're talking about like mythological creatures, like it was it was an amalgamation of like several like beasts. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So you know, attack at the front, attack at the rear. You got wings. You know, big old... Yeah, the wings are key. But you it'll, like, have, it'll like kill wings. the airsofter before he calls his hits, though. I, I, well, I mean, you, you shoot <laughs> him, and then, if, and then if he doesn't call his hits, then the thing eats him. <laughs> yeah, right? Honesty yeah. goes up 100%. Or you could, like... I mean, it's a snake, so maybe you could, like, wrap around snake the dude. Tail. Yeah, yeah. yeah, And then you shoot Or what about him? Cerberus? Mm-hmm. You guys could bring Cerberus into the airsoft field. We could really get Anybody? into a lot. Anybody know what that is? Explain. Uh, the Cerberus. three-headed dog that was the guardian to the gates. Oh, of, of hell. that thing. Okay, yeah. okay. And then you chop his head off. And <laughs> or run a basilisk in game. What? what Running around Harry with Potter. a lizard, you uh, connect. It's actually the real original. Yes, dog, I know. They you, they yeah. based a lot of their creatures off of. You look into creatures. its eyes, make eye contact, boom, frozen. Yep. Oh, okay. See okay. what I'm saying? You know. You, There's like, <laughs> oh, grab cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I am cover now. Yeah. See, there you go. Okay. There's so many mythical creatures in these shoes. <laughs> Should we go to the next question? Well, well, we what have about, to. What we... about from what about from Doctor okay, Doolittle? You could ride a push me pull you into battle. What? It's what? a two headed llama. Uh, How did that? Remember you... that? From you wouldn't go Dr. anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't go anywhere. No, no, that way. Because one would be like, let's go this way. No, no, no. They would be. They would. They would coexist. They would, they would, okay. coexist, they would <laughs> coexist like cat dog. They'd be perfect. They'd know exactly what way to go. Right, and you'd never have to turn it around. You'd just be like, ah, oh, reverse it. <laughs> just ride it that way, the same speed. <laughs> what other mythical creatures can I? <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna pull a question. All right. What about what nope, about the. Nope. Uh, was that Ben Knobs and Broomsticks, <clears throat> or was that Mary Poppins that they got on the uh, carousel and then rode the... Uh... Those aren't even real animals. 
DT, hey insert, I'm a ref a at a CQB site up in Massachusetts, and I was wondering what game modes other than Team Deathmatch, Domination, Capture the Flag, and Bomb Plant do you guys enjoy? Ooh. <clears throat> um, we used to have a game at my field. It was a hostage rescue game where we picked one one room and we put one hostage in there or several hostages and the team like the there was the rescue team and then the terrorist team and the terrorist team they could leave the building but if the terror if the hostages got killed by any means or something then the game was over um the hostages could also hide Guns. They they could also hide guns around because yeah. we had furniture inside because it yeah, was like a that, home was the, that was a casting couch I remember yeah because it was like a home home invasion type yeah. scenario and like they were like oh no and then if you were uh, if you were a hostage taker and you turned your back they would like <laughs> ju- they would like pull a shotgun out of a couch cushion yeah. or something nice. and blast you. you never went to his field did you yeah I did oh. the only time I went to his indoor field was when we did the zombie night um, mm, yeah yeah. Uh, the the cops and robbers one yourself. that we did was always really fun, um, where basically the rules were you'd have to, <clears throat> if you were the robbers, you basically could only get shot in the head, you could full auto, oh, yeah, and yeah, you, but yeah, you had yeah, to yeah. walk everywhere. So you wouldn't, it, if you got, you, if you, you'd have to get hit in the head to die. Mm-hmm. So everywhere else was free reign, and then you could only run around, walk around, but yeah. you, and you could full auto, the other team could only use semi. Yeah, but you had two. You had money bags. You had to carry money bags. Yeah, you, had to, you, you had to carry money like, bags from like one point to the to like the hideout. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That mm-hmm. sounds good. That was good. yeah. It was it was it was a tough one. That was yeah, it was hard, but it was. It fun. was even funner when when like the two robbers had like like assault rifles and everyone else had handguns and shotguns. Yeah, that, that's when it got extremely one sided. Yeah, it was really fun though because you know how often <laughs> did the robbers actually make it? They did it because they would just get swarmed by like. Oh. Like, pe- someone would just be like, okay, everybody, it's now or never. <laughs> and then, like, they'd be like, all right, on the count of three, we're all going to pop this corner and shoot him. And, yep. you know, the first guy, obviously, he was just done. So. Got it, yeah. He would just, like, I would, I'll would. i never forget watching that game from the tower because you always see the brave guy, like, let's do it, guy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, another one was that you did at your field was Army of Two. If you remember that one, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. if you got shot, you would go down on your knees. You were stationary. You could still shoot, and your teammate would have to touch, uh, t- make t- physical contact, and then you could stand back up. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> you had some pretty fun games. Yeah, he had yeah. a pretty dope field. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need to make another indoor field. Yeah, I'm just should. saying, I would love to do like I. Not enough indoor places capitalize on Halloween. Like organize a zombie mm-hmm. game. Hire some actors to be zombies. Use some low power AEGs. That escape scenario you used to run was the most fun I've ever had playing airsoft. That was a fun one, yeah. Mm-hmm. And a cool trick to that is if you do plan on doing one, if you put a little bit of a Sharpie marker on the flashlight, use cheap flashlights you don't care about. You put Sharpie and it makes the <laughs> light super kind of dark. It makes it way more fun because you can't see very well. <laughs> what? No, I'm laughing because I because because I remember doing. I remember you had to do that. Yeah. Well. <laughs> It was just funny because I went to the dollar store, picked up a bunch of flashlights, and we we're like, "Oh, these are too bright!" Like, still too bright. Yeah, like, and they were like incandescent light bulbs too. And we we're like, "How do we make these dimmer?" Oh, quick, get me a sharpie. <laughs> All right, and that perfect. Worked. Yeah, and it worked. Yeah. So like, you get like a really kind of dim light, but it, it keeps the suspense kind of high, which yeah, is really yeah, cool. Yeah. I remember walking through that one room, and then like you had hung like doll parts from like strings. <laughs> I was like, "What the hell is that?" And it was like a leg swing. Yeah, and also, the most important room. thing is fog. You need lots and lots of yeah. fog. Oh, tons of fog. Tons, tons of, of fog. fog. Mm-hmm. You need tons of so fog. So you need all your friends who have fog machines Metric to all come tons out. tons of fog. At night. <laughs> what is going on? All right, Alex Lee asks, hey, answer, what do you prefer for ear protection? Love the show. Keep up the good work. I don't wear ear protection unless I absolutely have to. I only use ear protection if I know there's going to be a lot of pyro indoors. Yeah. And indoors yeah. only. I don't care about pyro outside. Mm-hmm. It doesn't do anything. Do you protect your ears at normal pick up Uh Okay, so for a long time, I didn't. And mm-hmm. then we started doing more stuff indoors where there were loud enough explosions that I was like, yeah, okay, time to time to get a set. And then I bought Peltor TAC 100s, which are external. They're like a civilian model. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I ran those by themselves for a while, and then I ran them under, and under my helmet, and now I have transitioned to Sordens. MSA Sordens, because I got them on sale, um, and I've attached them to the helmet. So if it's a game where we're running helmets, they're on the helmet anyway, mm-hmm. I run them. Okay. 
You know what I mean? Same minor. Because I generally thing. don't flip them up out of the way, even though they're designed to do that. Like, I just, I figure if I'm going to have them on, I'll put them on. Because I don't want to get shot in the ear anyway. Yeah, getting shot in the ear does suck, but mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. Unless unless there's, like, a bunch of pyro, or if there's blanks. That's the only time I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, these are going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty much why I have the exact same setup as Matt does. And it's for comms, too, so. That's the other nice thing is... For comms, like, I either run my Signal 21, like, unplugged, so literally everybody within a 30-foot radius can hear me. <laughs> As I'm sneaking into a room, it's just like, Matt, where are you? Like, oh! Oh, no! Like, you know, I'm like, about to sneak up real. on this, these guys. This is, this is it's more like, hey, Miguel, do you know where the car keys are? Pretty much. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, it's uh, kind of to add to that question, like, what Face Pro do you run now because i know we all three just run mesh right the soft mesh i've tried everything like because i switched this year to the padded sides with the mesh in front i tried that. it's fantastic it's way better than the all mesh it is it's pretty good i still use my all mesh just because it's got the the skull pattern Mm -hmm. which is like kind of a signature Mm -hmm. thing for me now which is totally not on purpose it was on purpose we had a meeting about it (laughs) (laughs) yeah judge is like i'm gonna do the rock this mask you go with it yeah sure (laughs) You've been using that same mask, I think, for, like, what, five years? Oh, yeah. It smells gross. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's, it's all, so, like, rusted. It's actually going to get retired today. I'm going to go downstairs and get a new one. There's oh. Milson Media Gear Spray you can put on it. Oh, That doesn't yeah. solve rust. I, I think it's be. I, I mean, that stuff is really good, and it smells really nice, but I think this mask is beyond that. Oh, okay, well. All right, Matt, last question. <clears throat> all right. Way to plug that spray. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Hoser Pena. Dear Insert, love the show. So here's my question. I'm having a problem deciding what to put on my belt belt. With the harness, it says belt twice. Belt belt. belt Trying belt. to put on my belt belt. Uh, with the harness from Condor. I already put a holster and some M4 mag pouch. What would you guys recommend to put on it? Dump pouch. Hashtag Chris Pick is one. I think he was trying to say Chris Pick this one. See that again? What were you? You're like singling yeah, nothing? So yeah, has... Don't put anything else on it. If you don't need to put anything else on it, just don't the only put thing, it on The it. only thing he's missing, I think, is honestly a dumb pouch. Preferably a, a roll up one. And M4 mag pouches. Well, what about, what about, what about pistol about, pouches? Yeah, what about pistol mm-hmm. pouches? What about pistol pouches? Yeah, second dump line. pouch. Second line. Dump uh, pouch. Get, dump a, pouch. get a carabiner and put some electrical tape on it and put that on your belt. What other crazy stuff can we throw on there? Well, actually, you know, uh, you need an eye pack. No, you need oh, yeah, 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 a small you little eye pack from, from Blue Force Gear. Mm-hmm. You know, every time we go to an event, someone needs e tape, and I always forget. Like, I, like it's something I want to put on my carabiner. Yeah, you should do it. But I haven't. So, fun, funny thing is, I don't do it anymore because of this one situation. I had it. On this side of me, which is the same side as my dump pouch, I went to reload my mag, and I <laughs> put the mag in my dump pouch, and the, the hook part hooked onto my watch, and it was in the middle of a firefight. So I, like, was I like reloaded, <laughs> and then I was stuck, and I was like, no, <laughs> no. What? Oh, my, this is a one-in-a-million awesome. thing. Wait, I think the that's hook hilarious. of the carabiner? Yeah, the hook of the carabiner got stuck. On my yeah, Ladies one in a million. That's carabiner placement. Okay, put it up front. You won't have a problem. Yeah, put yeah, it just... on your other hand, or put it put it on your sh- whatever side your watch <laughs> isn't on. So what'd you do? Just so go bad. one hand sling and pull your pistol. No, I just I just stood there and I was like, okay, let me fire a few rounds and then I like backed <laughs> away into the other that corner. One handed weapons manipulation. You like stuck the gun in between. Your <laughs> and, like pulled out <laughs> like, magazine to reload and stuff. Uh, because it's airsoft. That's why. <laughs> So. You had an opportunity to do something super cool on camera, and you didn't do it. Or look super dumb, like, <laughs> help me, guys! Yeah. I'm stuck! <laughs> That's a ru- what else? I know, oh, one in you a need million. Your, you need, your, you need your, uh, your rubber knife on your belt. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, your yeah, knife. yeah. And it yeah. needs to be on a lanyard. Mm-hmm. I don't know about a lanyard. Maybe a pistol. I like, I like the placement of your... Pouch? Oh, uh, mm. a what? If you're running a chest rig, right? Or what is he running? I think he just has the battle belt and a uh, suspenders. It's, battle belt um, and harness. I think I don't know if the harness is the. I, I'm assuming the, the harness, harness is like the yeah, like the mm-hmm. suspender part of it. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, radio pouch like if there's Molly on the back. Bare minimum dump pouch, I think. Yeah, and then you'll get a chest rig for your other gear, or hopefully, or a plate mm-hmm. carrier or something. Mm-hmm. Then treat it as your second line. Yep. Dump pouch, 
pistol mag pouches, possible carabiner, you know, proper location with some electrical <laughs> tape. Yeah. Hmm. And you're gonna do this with your with your brand triangle as your hmm. reference of of what pistol multi tool with pouch. You're buy. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, oh, multi tool. Yep, yep. Gotta have a multi tool. Mm-hmm. Or seven, like Ryan. <laughs> it's only two guys. No, no, he's counting. And your pocket knife. He's had more now than he can count. No, it's two. Two current. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two on you right now? All, no, all no, no, rubber no, no. from Cold backpack, Spear. One on my person. Why does he need two to carry around at the okay, same time? Or Cold I Steel. I go places in shorts, and I don't want to carry my multi-tool on my pants, and then I have my backpack. So why it's not like, just always keep it in the backpack and not no, in your pants? No, because I like having it on me. Well, and he's got it on him. Okay, all right. Ryan, we get it. Our hands are up. You can relax. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning into the latest episode of the Not So Round Table. Thank you, Jeff, for joining us once again. Thank you. I think it was a really energetic episode to have you and George here at the same time. Everybody's back. Back into the swing of things. I'm tired. More content coming at you guys very, very soon. Make sure you check our Facebook for the free giveaways. We're going to be giving away quite a bit of True Specs stuff. Yep. Um, one's about to be, yep, one's officially one. worn by Jet now. Look at that. This one's cool. This one's got Velcro on it. Dude. We've got several boonie hats. Oh, this the green tires. one will have yeah. some of Jet's hair in stripe, it. tiger stripe as well as uh, the TRU tactical response uniform quarter zip combat shirt as well as a BDU mandarin collar and a this is Royal really nice. Coyote fleece. Yeah, this, um, this is nice. And this we'll probably do in it August. in three mm -hmm. packages. So we'll do the tiger stripes together. We'll do the brown fleece with the brown boonie and uh, two of our mismatched green... Uh, green outfits together as well thanks guys see you later